The diagnosis should really be done by a psychiatrist, a psychopharmacologist, to be really on the safe side because we're dealing with an illness that's potentially very serious, you know, that can lead to hospitalization, can lead to suicide. So I don't think the idea of being an amateur diagnostician at home is a very good idea. I think it ought to be in the hands of a professional. But let's say uh, you have no other choice and you're wondering if somebody in your family has bipolar illness. To me, the key thing is the person doesn't need to sleep as much as all of your friends and colleagues. They need only three or four or five hours sleep and they go on refreshed night after night after night, week after week, and they get up after four or five hours and they feel terrific, they feel turned on. So they're hyperactive all the time, they don't need much sleep, and sometimes they get very irritable. If you cross them, they snap back and get into a rage attack. You either have the euphoria or you have the irritation and the anger. So those are the symptoms that you gotta look for when you're really trying to find someone that's bipolar.